Well, good morning to you all on Friday, the 11th of April. Look, there are scandals and there are scandals. And of course, we've only just survived. If we have, that's in our understanding, the Wollongong Council Corruption Inquiry in New South Wales, that seemed beyond belief. The worst, surely, of this political donation fiasco. On that front, I'm interested to note that the New South Wales government and the Premier are not going to put a ban on political donations in place before the September local government elections. I would have thought after the Wollongong local government revelations, that would be the first thing that the government would have done. If there's going to be reform of the political donations arrangements, that reform should be in place before the September local government elections. But this business about the Transport Workers Union has now been running for several days. And the government and the Industrial Relations Minister, John Della Bosca, have provided no satisfactory answers. The story actually is quite simple. It appears, and until the government can refute this, you'd have to say it's more than appearance, it's a reality that the New South Wales government, through government agencies run by John Della Bosca, since 2002 have given over $733,000 of taxpayers' money to the Transport Workers Union, including a $73,000 grant to a group won by, run by one Judith Penton, who has close ties to Mr Della Bosca. But the taxpayers' money seems to have gone to the Transport Workers Union, $733,905. Yet, since 2002, $746,000, almost exactly the same amount, has then gone from the TWU back to the Labor Party. So the difference between taxpayer-funded grants going to the TWU and Labor Party donations coming out of the TWU, the difference is only 1%. And over a six-year period since 2002, that's got to be more than coincidence. The TWU-run fund titled Concerned Families of Australian Truckies was one beneficiary of the money, and the chairwoman is Judith Penton. Her husband, Bruce Penton, is a senior TWU official, and he has run previously Belinda Neal's election campaign. Belinda Neal is the wife of John Della Bosca, and Belinda Neal recently praised Bruce Penton and the TWU boss, Tony Sheldon, in her inaugural speech to federal parliament since her re-election. Reba Ma has worked for the TWU, she's the health minister, Paul McClay, a ministerial aspirant, Noreen Hay, Christina Keneally, a minister, and Diane Beamer, a former minister, all received donations that weren't declared by the union. Other Labor ministers, John Watkins, Matt Brown, and Verity Firth, received donations from the TWU, as did Labor MPs, Andrew McDonald, Richard Amory, David Borger, and David Harris. This is taxpayers' money. The public are entitled to know whether it's being used to prop up Labor Party election campaigns. Andrew Stone, the National Party leader, and Barry O'Farrell, the opposition leader, have referred the TWU's so-called donations scandal to the Auditor General, requesting his office carry out a performance audit. Early yesterday morning, John Della Bosca said he'd welcome an inquiry brought forward by the state opposition. But then in Parliament, Barry O'Farrell asked Maurice Yemmer about the coincidence of the $733,905 in Yemmer government grants to the TWU and concerned families of Australian truckies, and the $746,288 in TWU donations to the ALP. Andrew Stoner asked the Premier if he would support the opposition call for funds to be provided to the Auditor General to enable a performance audit of taxpayer-funded grants made by the New South Wales Government to the Union Movement. Well, John Della Bosca was talking tough in the morning. By question time, Premier Maurice Yemmer and John Della Bosca had suddenly changed their tune. They refused to support an investigation. Now, to make it worse, the chairwoman of this concerned families of Australian truckies, Judith Penton, has admitted that not all the money of the 2003 grants has been spent. So where's the money gone? 2003. If the TWU can afford to donate $746,000 to the Labor Party, and it's not even spent the money it was given by the government in 2003, why should taxpayers be giving them any more money? That's the story. Since 2002, government agencies run by John Della Bosca have given about $734,000 of taxpayers' money to the TWU and almost identical, that identical amount has been given back to the Labor Party. The taxpayers funding the political campaigns of the Labor Party and its candidates. Time for the government to come clean, surely. I'm Alan Jones.